see the Snickers scene go up. Uh, I am going to continue talking about um, the isolation stuff we talked about in the last video. I want to talk about that a little bit more um, with regard to another column on the little uh, cheat sheet we sent you um, in the newsletter. Then um, that's the column about the life cycle of the plant, the annual versus biennial versus perennial part of it. And so um, I just want to explain that a little bit more in depth because that really affects what you're doing as a seed saver as well versus a gardener. So. Um, Let's see, so annuals are plants that they go to seed in one year. You plant them the seed that spring and you'll get and you'll get seeds. There's a little honeybee. Uh, and then biennials are plants where you plant them and then they need to go through a winter uh, and then they'll break dormancy and then they'll sprout and go to seed the next year. And um, so uh, so we're standing in a we're standing in my field right now. There happens to be some examples of both right next to me. So these are uh, collard greens, they're a biennial. So they, we planted them last year, they're going through a winter right now, and now they're sprouting, or they've gone through a winter, now they're sprouting, and starting to make flowers to make seeds uh, this year. Next to me here is lettuce, it's an annual. I just started these this spring, and I'll have seed off of these by um, midsummer this year. And then uh, beyond there are onions, and those are all biennials. We planted those last year, they went through a winter, and they'll make seeds this year. So what I want to point out is when you're thinking about uh, your home garden and you're trying to decide what can I grow for seed versus what can I eat and I want to be able to do all lot, I want to have lots of different things I can eat and I and I want to make sure that I'm that I get that um, that I get as much as I can have to eat but I want to save seed too those biennials are really useful because um, you know you can plant carrots and you can plant tons and tons and tons of kinds of carrots and uh, you can eat them this year. You might decide to keep one variety that you um, that you replant the carrot for seed next fall or this fall, and you it'll make seed next spring. Um, or or onions, same thing. Like you can grow a bunch of them. If you have onions or carrots or something that have overwintered uh, and they're gonna start sending up a flower stalk, that's fine. You can still seed other onions and other carrots, um, even if you have one that's going to seed because those ones are just gonna sit there and be the vegetable that you would normally eat. I don't know if that makes sense. So, um, so, so biennials are great because you can, you can plant as many kinds as you want. You don't have to worry about them flowering and messing with your seed crop. And then you can decide which one you want to let over winter and go to seed next year. Whereas annuals, you know, you plant them, you're gonna get the seed this year and that's how that works. Okay, thanks for watching.